everyone. Happy Monday. As you would have seen, um, I just made myself a chocolate matcha with chocolate almond milk. It's nice, but I feel like the chocolate milk is very overpowering. But I have it again. I don't know. It's a very odd mixture. I don't hate it though. But yeah, it's not something that like I think I'd get addicted to. Anyway, I am just putting on a little bit of makeup. I've actually been really liking this like no makeup makeup routine lately where I've been using like a bit of concealer to cover up my like redness and then I'll go in with this ultraviolet queen screen. It's like bronzing drops, but they're really nice. So I just put like a little bit on and then I'll like blend it out just to give me some color. It doesn't really add coverage, it kind of just like gives you a bit of color does make me a bit oily throughout the day though because i think it is technically spf it's spf 50 so like yeah i definitely do need to like powder because i have a very oily skin but i like how it looks how's this big blind pimple coming through that i tried to squeeze before don't ask me why seriously anyway i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup i've had so many lovely messages saying yay the vlogs are back because obviously i didn't put out a vlog two weeks ago um and yeah that makes me really happy that you guys like wait for my vlogs it's still so surreal to think that so many people watch them every week um but yeah i love making them so yeah thank you for all of your messages i also just started using this which is the um makeup by mario duke which i've tried to get my hands on actually for ages but it's always sold out in is it sephora yeah anyways emco made a duke and i really like it they also actually came out with um sol de janeiro dupes like this literally looks identical to my one. This is, yeah, Sol, is it Sol de Janeiro? Pretty sure it is. And then this is the M O one, literally smells identical. Don't know how they do that, but yeah, it's probably half the price as well. Okay, let's go in with this rare beauty blush. I actually just received a bunch of new Huda Beauty lip glosses how cool is this pr pack oh my god and she also gave me some like lip liners and one of them was pinky brown and i screamed because that is literally my go-to muted pink that one looks really nice too deep rose i'm stocked for days i have so many huda lip liners like it's a joke and then yeah i've been seeing so many people rave about her lip gloss i don't know if this um you can get it from i need to blend this out before it like stains my skin um i was gonna say yeah i've been seeing heaps of people post tiktoks on the glosses i think it's um michaela makeup she posted a video, Manny MUA. I still follow so many makeup artists um, on Instagram and TikTok, like Desi Perkins. Who else does makeup stuff still? Jaclyn Hill doesn't really do much makeup, like so much makeup content anymore. She still sometimes does, but her, I think her content's made like lifestyle now. She actually doesn't really pop up um, that often anymore. But yeah, when I do click her page, it's like cooking or like, random stuff anyway but yeah i still follow them all um set huda powder it's my absolute fave i did not mean for this morning's chat to be a makeup tutorial but then i realized i haven't really sat down and actually like spoken and did my makeup in so long so for those that like watching me do my makeup this one's for you and if you don't sorry I actually want to know like what 
what parts of my vlog do you like the most? Do you like when I go to Pilates and film that? Do you like when I'm at work? Do you like when I'm just like sitting down, doing my makeup, talking? Do you like me actually doing things like filming myself, making a coffee, making food, making my bed? I don't know. What do you enjoy watching in like vlogs the most? I would love to know. Comment down below because yeah, I would obviously would rather film what you guys want to see most. I feel like I film, you know, a variety of stuff so it doesn't get too boring. And I try to film different things each week, even if it's like me filming from my fridge or like just random shit that I haven't like either filmed in a while or done in a while. Just I feel like my vlogs in general are pretty repetitive or do you just not like me speaking or do you, would you rather watch clips with music in the back? Like what do you guys like seeing the most? I would love to know. I just put way too much blush on. I actually haven't used this blush in ages. Mecca Glow from um, Hourglass. It's really nice actually. I love hourglass. Um, eye brows. Um, I'm just going to set my face. Still really loving this. I never use this anymore. Remember when I used to use this all the time? Oh my god, it's almost out. Maybe I should put it on my desk if I use it tomorrow. So I've got two more in here as well. I've got so much makeup that I don't use. Oh my god, I've been trying to find these earrings for ages and they're in my freaking makeup drawer. Remember when I used to wear these all the time? These big Louis Vuitton hoops. Well, I'm going to put them up there because I did not know. I thought I lost them. Seriously. Okay. I really want to try these. So let me go in with lip liner. I'm just going to use pinky brown obviously. I've got like brush hairs all over my face. I not I. Charlie was meant to go to a shoot that um was organized with Jazz Handmade this morning at 5 30 but the weather's been so crazy like it's been sunny one minute, the next minute it's raining. So we ended up, it was meant to be like a sunrise type shoot by the beach, like for the lighting. Um, basically this photographer reached out and was like, hey, I'd love to expand my portfolio. Here's some photos of my work. Um, you know, we'd love to shoot your jewelry. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. Like it's always good to have fresh new content like for Instagram or even the website. So yeah, I'm all for that. So I was like, yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, Charlie was meant to go this morning at like 5.30, but it was raining, I think, or I think it was raining last night and they made the call last night um, to postpone it till the afternoon. So yeah, she's going to go around 12. Okay, I've just taken all of the Huda fuck, um, glosses out of the packaging. I don't know what one I'm going to do. They're all kind of dark, but... Maybe I'll go with this one, like the baby, baby doll pink. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of my Benetton on. So I'm not really a light pink type of girl. I need something like a bit darker. Okay, let's put that over the top. Apparently, oh. The applicator is really nice. It's like a double sided applicator. Oh, it's really pigmented. Oh, they feel really nice. Mm. Not sticky. I feel like that's just a little bit too light for me. You know, this is just not really my color, but like formula wise, really nice. Let me try one of these. I feel like it's not going to be as dark. Okay. This one is in the shade bombshell. Oh, 
yeah, this is definitely on the darker side to what I normally would wear. But I really, yeah, the formula is really nice. I almost forgot <laughs> mascara, but I haven't really been putting that much on because I've gotten a lash lift and it doesn't really look like I need to put it on. But just to tie in everything, I just put a tiny touch on. That's me done. I've been talking for way too long. I'm gonna get changed and I'll see you at work. So I'm actually walking to work. We could have Ubered it because my car's at the warehouse because they're doing some sort of construction in our car park in my apartment. So my car's at the warehouse and we thought rather than booking an Uber, let's just walk a couple Ks. And I didn't realize there was a hill. So, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Just after I did a full face of makeup. Hello everyone from my mum's Tesla. To be honest, the lighting is just not it. Is it because this is... How the fuck? How do you get that? Oh, maybe it, you have to take the whole thing out. Anyway. Yeah, and like, where do I put my camera? Like, you can't put it anywhere. Like, I've got a dash, like, right here. Usually I put my camera there, but like, never getting a Tesla then. Can't even put my vlog camera anywhere. I was gonna give you guys a little haul, and like, what is this lighting? Is that better? Anyway, I just went to the post office. I would tell you what I did this morning, but I can't. I know that I probably shouldn't have even said that, but. Yeah, I did something that I can't tell you guys this morning. And then now I'm back at the warehouse. Charlie, like I said, went to a shoot at the beach this afternoon. She sent me some BTS and it looked really cool. So I'm really excited to see the photos from that. Um, but yeah, just went to the post office. I'm gonna do a little unboxing when I get up to the warehouse. And yeah, I've just kind of been on emails all day, replying to brands and you know, going back and forth and stuff like that. Been doing some research on my matcha as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna go in to my warehouse now. Okay, I'm in the warehouse. Oh, don't you just hate that? I actually have like a hair mask in that I randomly found from, I think it's a Kerastase one. I put that in when I was doing my slick bun this morning and like a serum. I didn't use any hairspray, so that's probably why it hasn't like stuck down properly. But um, I'll show you what I got. I got some more pre-workouts. Why do they sound like that? Right, yeah, they've got the new seals. That's why that was like banging around. Um, yeah, they're back in stock. I actually haven't had pre-workout in ages and then i got some more wild deodorant refills and albi cosmetics they're so cute they always send me some of their like toweling stuff i've got a, quite a few colors now they sent me this lavender color this is actually so cute this size it's so cute it's like a little cube and they sent me like a longer one and then i think this is the size that i have these ones yeah, they fit so much in it for like toiletries and stuff. Um, and you can wash them as well. Thank you so, so much. Just waiting for Peter to come and yeah, he's gonna drive here and then we're gonna walk back to the apartment. Uh, because like I said earlier this morning, they're doing some sort of like renovations in our parking lot. Well, not parking lot, in our car park in my apartment and yeah. We can't drive in there for four days. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have to update you guys with. Morning, everyone. I have been vlogging on my other SD card, actually, because I just had a meeting for one of my projects that I'm working on. I also went to Alfred's apartment again. Actually, I might just put this on. I just got a normal matcha and they sweeten it with uh, maple syrup and it is so good. I will definitely be going back there for matches. 
I just wasn't really a fan of the strawberry one, but I think because I love matcha so much, I couldn't taste the matcha in the strawberry one, but mm, really nice. Anyway, I'm about to take my makeup off because I know it seems like such a waste and it's only like 10 a.m. Um, I am going to get my skin done. I think I'm going to get a DMK enzyme today and then straight after that, I'm going to get my nails done. I really need to go through my empties because I just finished, I was just using this Estee Lauder one. It's like a, it's the same sort of vibe as the Elemis cleansing balm, which I love. But yeah, I just finished this one. And I really liked it. It's more of a thicker consistency. There's actually probably still some left that I could use. But yeah, I definitely need to go through my empties. I've got so many up there to go through. Okay, this is really sad because I really liked my makeup today. Also, do we like these earrings? They're just samples. Um, I just don't know. I feel like I just see so many similar styles from like other brands and I'm just like, do I even go ahead with it? Even though these samples are like months old, like I'm pretty sure I got these samples last year, but I don't know. I've just been seeing so many of like the same, the same things. But yeah, we had a meeting today and it went really well. We kind of like, I think we've almost finalized all the pieces where, um, they're just getting everything sampled now. So then the next time I go in, which will be in like three weeks, I'll get to actually like try on some of the designs, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I am fake tanned. I was going to fake tan last night, but I realized I have my appointment today. And I don't know, because she obviously like goes down my neck and like puts product on my neck. I feel like it just like takes off my tan. So I'm going to tan tonight, I think. I literally just opened up a new cleanser. This one's from Alpha H. I'm going to cleanse my face. Okay, so I think I'm going to surprise the girls with a trip to Coachella this year. I had to think about it. I was like, is this the smartest business decision? But like, all our content on TikTok has kind of revolved around Coachella well like I guess Katie's hinted it but I just think imagine if I actually surprise them with tickets to America and to Coachella I've always wanted to go to Coachella so it's something that I want to do as well the only thing that was stopping me was we don't really have any new collections coming out like around that time so like I guess it would make more sense if you know we had something to like style with you know we just we don't have anything new coming like around april so that was like the only thing that was like putting me off because i was like well what is the point then like we're not really going there to like show off a new collection or anything like that but like obviously my brand isn't like collection based like i the whole point of my brand isn't to like pump out collections every couple of months like it's staple pieces that you know are timeless they'll go with everything you'll have them for years so like you know i guess like coachella is more of a fun kind of like it's a it's a festival so like you know i do have some samples that we could wear like that are a bit more fun and not so like you know timeless but that was just like the only thing that was kind of like deterring me from doing it but i think i'm just thinking of the content and like what we would get up to like we could spend a couple nights in LA and then obviously a couple nights in Palm Springs I don't know if I really want to do like the three-day Coachella thing because firstly I'm not really a festival girly and yeah I think like two days would be plenty or even one and a half days but we'll see I think the passes that you buy for the three days but then also accommodation you need to like know you can't just like decide what you're gonna do so i think i'm just gonna surprise the girls with tickets i do have um the flights on hold i just need to double like double check that no one's like going anywhere in april like katie goes to melbourne quite a bit because her family's from melbourne so i just need to double check that she's like not planning any like random trips in april i know charlie will be fine she doesn't go anywhere and she just got back from bali so mm. 
I'm so excited. I'm just trying to think of a way where I can um, surprise them. I need to think of ways, but I need to tell them this week, I think, because like obviously it's right around the corner. It's literally next month. Um, so we need to like suss out outfits, like what we're gonna do, where we're gonna stay. I feel like we're gonna do that all together. I think as like a group, we'll decide like accommodation and stuff like that and like things to do. But I'll just surprise them with the tickets and the flights. I think we're gonna do it on Thursday. It's Tuesday at the moment. Okay, anyway, I, yeah, I'm gonna go and get my skin done. Take these out as well. So I don't have to do it there. But yeah, how exciting. Hello everyone, I just realized I didn't even take my camera to my nail appointment, but I just had a shower. I did end up putting on the two hour Ultra Dark Express Tan. I put it on around six, it's now 9.30. So I kept it on for like three and a half hours. Um, these are my nails, something really different, but like I really love like the ombre kind of vibe. And these are the colors that I chose. There may have been a reason why I chose these colors. Who knows? But yeah, they're really cool. Anyway. Um, I'm just going to do my face tan routine. You guys would know uh, what I use by now, surely. I'm going to use the Road Glazing Milk first. I feel so naked without any of my jewelry on. Like, I've got nothing on my wrist or my fingers. But I take all my jewelry off when I tan. Oh. This is just the Elemis moisturizer, but I still have a little bit left over from when I went to Bali and put it in this little like canister. So I'm just gonna dot that all over my face, and then I do about three drops of this on the skin. Mix it in. I ended up having a Zo facial from Skin. I'm pretty sure. It was called, um, and yeah, it was like one of their new ones. Oh, I think this is on its way out. I actually low key really like these toothpaste. I don't think I would, but I always buy them when they're on a sale. Okay, that is, that's out. Actually, I'll save that for my empties. What one should I do next? Coconut. Okay, we're choosing our bonding activity. I've got them here. I'm gonna hold them out in front of me and they're gonna choose. Okay. <gasps> Why am I nervous? Okay, wait. Where can I put this? Here or here? Do I show it to you or me? Both of you. Good job. That's wrong. That's the wrong right. one. No, that's being serious. Fuck off, you're lying. That's why I asked what your middle name was. Fuck My off, you are being No, wait, 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 wait. I'm we like, are. No. We are. We're going to Coachella. But I'm, I'm going to cry. Wait, but I'm, not, I'm scared. Why? <laughs> Is this the prank because I sticky taped you? <laughs> no. <laughs> when, it's not a prank. When? We can too. Okay. We'll go. Is that the... why you asked us about April? Yeah. 
It's not a prank. Wait, you can get excited. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a prank. We're actually not. I'm like waiting for you to be like, oh, no, God. it's not a prank. April Fools. And the LA and everything. When are you going? Um, 17th. April 17th. Fuck it out. <laughs> can I come? <laughs> How, can you send a photo of my passport? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get into it now. Okay, i got to go. Alright, bye. Bye. What's your mum going to say? I don't know, she's going to be a bit like, what? <laughs> okay, we're at Doe, which is like a new, what would you call it? They call it a bakehouse, but they've got like sandwiches and stuff. Yes. They also have strawberry matcha. Yes, so. Looks like oak. Okay. okay. Wait. Okay, yeah, you're in that. Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. It's like thick. Ready? Just get straight over here. Just close this. It's like actually cold. What's the rating? Oh, I'm just getting strawberries. It's yum, it's really sweet. Mm. I can't mix the ketchup. That is really yum. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my god. What did you Jazz? I got the chicken pencil. Me and Charlie got the bed though. Um uh, oh, is there a photo of this? Yeah. Okay. I didn't help. That actually does look really good. Come on, Charlie. I'm just gonna let you grab it. I'm just gonna bite into it. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Face test. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. That's so nice. Hello everyone. I'm currently I just actually went into a silk laundry pop-up that they're having in Burley, I think from the from tomorrow to the 24th I believe um, they invited a bunch of like influencers I guess to like a VIP opening slash we could choose a set which or a couple of pieces so I thought I would show you guys what I got I've actually wanted a set from Silk Laundry for so long um, and I actually wanted this set when it was out I think this is quite old now maybe like I don't know two years old maybe even older but this pattern is so fun i really like it i did end up getting the matching cami because i feel like i don't know together it kind of looks like pajamas because it obviously is silk but i thought just with like any other top or like any other silk top or even just like a singlet would look really good and then i just ended up getting a button up which is like in between silk and it's like a really nice fabric. It's got a little detailing on the collar, but it's just like, yeah, it's just a white button up. Really good quality. It's got a little um, pocket there. And I could wear it like unbuttoned, like over the top of something, or I can wear it buttoned up. I actually wore it buttoned up with these pants and it looked really cool. Um, I love like a thin waistband silk pant. So I'm very happy about that. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yeah, it feels like Friday for some reason. Um, I just went and got my second blood test. I needed to get one on day 21 of my cycle. So like when I'm ovulating, um, which was fine. That was actually a breeze. She was so good. I always like heat up my arm before because I just know it's a struggle. And she didn't even like check my other arm. She was like, yep, got it. Got it in the first go. She was really good. Um, I just go to the Q Super Center one. But both the nurses that I've had were, yeah, they were really good. They were really nice as well. Um, I am going to go and pick up a matcha 
from match a therapy for the girls well not katie because she's weird and doesn't drink coffee matcha doesn't even drink water for god's sake so yeah she's just not really like a like a drinks gal which is baffling to me like i i, I just i couldn't imagine not having like a nice drink and she doesn't even drink alcohol either which is a good thing and i still haven't drank this whole year guys actually that's a lie i did have a little sip of pulling kovats at my didder's wake um last week because he loved pulling kovats so yeah that's like the only the only sip of alcohol that i've had um all year and i'm proud of that and it's not because i'm pregnant I have had a few people because I've said like I've had mocktails and stuff when I go out. It's not because I'm pregnant. Um, I'm just choosing not to. And I don't even know if I will at Coachella. Like is that going to be boring if I don't? Like Katie doesn't drink so she won't be drinking. But like I know Charlie's a drinker. And like I do love to have like a, a drink. Especially if I'm like at a festival or like going out somewhere. So who knows. But yeah I'm not really planning on it to be honest. But we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go pick up a matcha for myself and Charlie. And then head to the warehouse. Okay, guys. I got the goods. Look how gorgeous it looks. It's so freaking good. Mm. Okay. I need to rush to the warehouse. Hello. I've been a bad vlogger today. But... I got a few things that I want to show you guys. Also, we ended up doing a Easter egg jar competition on TikTok. So whoever guesses how many eggs are in here wins a $500 voucher. Go onto our TikTok or all you need to do is like comment how many eggs you think are in the jar. You could win a $500 voucher. Anyway, today we were really busy because we finalized our LA accommodation. So we're staying in LA for three nights and then palm springs two nights so we're actually away for five nights in total um which is fun because i really want to do some things around la like go to air one in and out like all like the typical i guess like touristy thing to do there and then we'll have two nights in palm springs um i was thinking about doing three nights and doing like the full three days but like i think i would prefer to do two days and then have that third day extra in la um but yeah i'm just finishing off something really quickly at work but i'll show you guys what pr i got because it's really cool and i'm really excited i got a package from charles and keith which i feel like i've heard heard about this brand before it's not australian it's from the uk but they reached out maybe like a month ago now to ask if i wanted anything from the website and i was like oh my god okay so i picked out these two shoes and how nice are they like these flats are perfect i'm not a heels person so these would be perfect with like a pair of pants maxi skirt so cool and they're really really good quality i think they're leather maybe or maybe not and then I had to get these. They low-key remind me of like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. But for a little pop of color, I need to get a red bag. Like I need to get a nice red bag. So I can wear these like with jeans, like white top, red bag. Such a vibe. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to wear them. I might wear them tomorrow actually. And then I got this package from MAC too. How extra is that? So cool. So it's just like matte shades of like their most popular colors, like Honey Love, Velvet Teddy. What else is there? Yeah, Honey Love, Velvet Teddy. Anyway, I am gonna pack up now. I'm gonna go for a sunset walk on the beach, I think. I it would be lying if I said I wasn't stressed about outfits for Coachella. I have no idea what I wanna wear. Like part of me wants to wear something like leopard print inspired, like something like, I don't know, like a dress or maybe even a skirt. I don't know, just something leopardy, I think. But then I've got so many other ideas and I'm like, I only need two outfits. 
and I just don't know which one is the one. Anyway, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say hello, give you guys an update, and yeah, that is all. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It does not feel like Friday. It feels like a Saturday. I don't know. It's so weird. Yesterday felt like Friday. Anyway, um, I'm at the warehouse now. I just went to the PO box and picked up a whole lot of parcels. Like, I was not expecting that many. Um, usually, most of our parcels that I pick up are, like, exchanges or returns or stuff like that. But there is a lot of PR in there that I – actually, no, I did order a few things – but there's a lot of PR in there. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you guys like seeing PR unboxings? Are they boring? Would you rather it on TikTok, Instagram? I don't know. But I feel like, yeah, especially when like small businesses send me stuff that's like really thoughtful. I just obviously want to share it. So yeah, let me know where you like to see my PR unboxings. Or if you don't like watching them, let me know as well. So anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to go inside. I'm actually going to text Charlie and ask her if she can come help me with the parcels because there's quite a lot. Can you come help me, please, with the parcels in my car? And then I've got to shoot some content. So I think we're going to go to Oxley for like a brunch and a matcha um, a bit later on when OzPost comes and picks up all the orders. Okay, we're back from our little lunch slash content date. I'm about to make some greens. I'm going to make Charlie some as well. I don't think she's tried the strawberry burst, but this one's my favorite flavor at the moment. I'm obsessed. I haven't really touched the banana lolly one since I got this one. I love it. Okay, I'm just going to pour a bit of water from my drink bottle. Okay, I just made them. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going with that. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I'm not going to lie to you. Yum. We're doing an unboxing. Look how cute this is from this small business. This little matcha oh, ceramic. Whoa. Oh, a perfect stranger. Oh, that's really that's cute. cute. That's a bit of me. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um, and then I was just about to open these because I ordered them from Shevoke. I think that's how you say it. She Shevoke. Let's have a look. No, they're cute. Yeah, they are cool. I got the brown, even though I think everyone gets the black, but I've got heaps of black sunnies. <gasps> they're so cool and lightweight as well. Wow, they're coming straight with me to Coachella. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm just going to get a few things from Coles. I have never seen avocados for 50 cents, but they're really soft. This is what I came for because it would be rude not to. Also fruit free, always. I hate so much. I'm using Peter's pan that he just used. I'm lazy and I don't scramble them in like a bowl before. I just do this. Take out the white shit. And then I just scramble it like in the pan. What one did you use? This one. Oh, this is the right one. Bottom right. Yes. And I just scramble it in the pan because dishes. I actually really want to put this in the um the pan and cook the eggs with the honey, but I've been loving this. Oh my god. You're like a child. <laughs> Put ice down my shirt. Okay, scramble them. That'll do. I kind of just like work it like this on like a medium heat until they're cooked. When it's like almost cooked like this, I take it off the heat and continue 
to stir it. That's what they should look like. Yum, but yeah, like I said, they will continue to cook a little bit while I make my matchy. I also have my bread in the toaster, which I will put down. How cute is this little bowl that a small business made me? I think her name was Abby Ceramics. I posted it on my Instagram. Oh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, Abby Ceramics. So freaking cute. I'm going to make my matchy. I still want to get one of those like bamboo. Um, I don't even know what they're called. But yeah, I don't have one of those yet. And also I just figured out an easier way to do this. You literally just do that and it sifts it so quickly rather than me going like this. <laughs> Standing there. Oh shit. Okay. Hot water, not boiling. You have to let it sit for a little bit. And then whisk her up for like 30 seconds. Add some milk. This is the milk that I use. I'm gonna add the maple after. Oh my God, yum. And then Okay, a bit of maple. So good. now for the best bit the chili honey this stuff is so good i'd say it's more like sweet chili rather than like hot chili but this breakfast is my current fixation and then my matcha yum hello everyone i literally just decided to film my empties for tea shit i thought that almost fell um, my empties for TikTok. So I'm going to edit that up. And if you want to see that, head over to my TikTok. I don't know. I just thought, I don't know, for something a little bit different, I might, yeah, post it on TikTok. So I'm going to do that later on tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so freaking excited to be heading to America literally next month. Like I cannot believe it. Like I've never really done anything like that. But then I thought life is way too short. You just never know what tomorrow's going to bring or what's going to happen. So yeah, like I'm just so excited that I, I just, I bit the bullet and I was like, you know what? This is going to be the best time ever. So yeah, that is basically all for me this week. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys same time next week. Bye.